Well, mostly Saltuna. We've been experiencing a Saltuna shortage, you see. So we've had to improvise. We've added wood chips, some mushrooms, a bit of sand, tossed some canid bits in our processor ones. It all tastes like Saltuna in the end. Uh, that can't be healthy. Health is a state of mind, friend. Afflictions in one's body are reflected. Yeah, we have of learned how Adelaide makes her gardens fertile. Attitude. Now listen, I do not know what pretty rhetoric Adelaide has fed you, but plagues are a simple fact of life. Adelaide's found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren <laughs> so soil? So green as people. Uh oh shit. Oh no. Uh, um, I don't think we're going to talk about human corpses. We're gonna, she's growing her crops with a special fertilizer. And when you say special fertilizer, you mean what exactly? Corpses, mostly human. Adelaide has been using dead bodies in her fertilizer? That's, come to think of it, that's a stroke of brilliance. What a remarkably efficient solution. Recycling spacers. Fuck, I love this game's lack of ethics. Its date of expiration. I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's cemetery. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> lack of ethics of the game. Uh, I mean, not in the mood to argue. You want Adelaide's help? Step down. You're right. I am being obstinate. If the best thing I can do for this town is to stand down. And stand down I shall. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. Now kill him! My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. Holy shit, we did it! Uh, no, I don't care about his plans. Take care! Fuck off! Wow! Making a note here, huge success. Frostpunk was right all along, yeah. I mean, dead bodies are just the resource waiting to be tapped. Although that is a good way to keep spreading the plague. Cause like, so you have illnesses that can grow in humans. And so you keep cycling that over and over and over again. Um, well, that's completed. Manual, long tomorrow, turn in the medicine. There you go. We're gonna turn into Esther Blaine because she has awesome hair. Therefore, we're gonna give it to her. Plus, the other guy might be a hypochondriac. We're not sure. And she's gonna theoretically make sure it goes to the people who in most need. I've got some time. Dude, look look at her. Like, she's so fucking cool. Just like leaning against the wall, that fuck off look on her face. I've got some time. So cool. I wish I was that cool. I got the medicine you were after. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Steam Here, sponsored by Soylent. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together your again. Hair does match the wall. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Uh, ooh. Never? That's harsh. At least let leave me something to remember you by. You do have some cheek on you. Yeah, I got two. Lucky for you, I kept and a little contingency more. fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Uh, who are you going to give the medicine to? Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? All right. Oh, yeah, I never did visit the sick room in this run. Uh, all right, so that's that. Um, now comes the power. So, yeah, let's return to Adelaide. Terror on Monarch. Oh! It's not Terror Monarch. It's Terror on Monarch. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's daytime, so, you know, things look less dire in the daytime. They're still huddled around the fire. Oh! Hey, Zoe. Home is where the heart is. Marauders took that saying a little too literally. <laughs> That's hilarious! Look at that. The snakes come back. Dude, here, I talked Reed into leaving. Come back to Edgewater. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. She's so cool, she didn't even flinch when they painted the wall. Suppose we all have a breaking point. 
Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. Silent Green You're walls made out of people. Me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. It's the same way I do my engineering. Here, smack, smack, smack. I'm Injuring you and something helping. to leave us be. It's a ransom. You understand, not a reward. Wow. Ooh, the board reputation decreased. <gasps> Made a mess of thing. No, Edgewater's better off with you running the place. You telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Take care. Ooh. Perky perk perks. Oh, I still want to get more of the dialogue up. It's like priorities, though. Um, you know what? I think the priority is to do this so we can get the discount of the tinkering cost. And then breaking down weapons gives us some mods and things. And then third drug. Yeah, I'm just going to go back to plan, max out the tech. We're not going to specialize, but we'll do that. We're, we're going full Igor here. It's going to be fine. Um, oh. There you go. Um, went alone. No. Dime dilation. Vendor prices. Companion kill XP. Maybe. Oh, I think we're just going to take the sprint speed. So we got walking speed, sprint speed, and then base HP. And that's going to be nice. Um, all right. It still says there's a quest marker here. Oh, right! I can take the power regulator! There we are. So now I can power up the ship. So we could leave. Um, but the infiltrated manual. Let's go ahead and collect the missing bits of that. So there's some over there. So let's go to the community center. Do, 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 do. I wonder if uh, What's-His-Face is still going to be at the old place, or if he'll have moved into town yet, or what the situation is. How do we get that stuff? The letter from corporate. Got the letter today. Corporate has ordered me to relocate to Edgewater Cannery, effective immediately. It's a shame. I'm looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center, selling rare memorabilia. But scripture tells us all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. Uh, as for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want those books smoldering some contraband locker. Says so that. Oh yeah, we still have to find the book for for what's his face. Wait, did I? Oh, I'm because I'm running Illustrated Manual instead of Frightened Engineer. Whoops. Okay, I was like, why why can I only see one pip? But well, that's okay, we want this as well. Here they come! Oh. Excellent. MC's a lively one. She's the best! Yeah, so we could have gotten the book when we were here earlier, but that's okay. Is this area's tutorial valley? Ah! I mean, we're well past, like, tutorial-ish kind of things at this point, I would say. Um, how do we get upstairs? Some loot earlier too. Oh, 
We passed the trails now. How do I get upstairs? <laughs> Shit's hard, yo. Here, I'm just gonna finish this and then I'll get the book for Max. Max isn't all that cool. We'll recruit him just, you know, because companions are like Pokemon. You got to catch them all. But I don't think we're actually going to bring him along with us uh, anywhere. He does help uh, with hacks, which is actually one of our low skills. So there is certainly some value in that. Oh, the book was over here. Wait, is it in his office? No, I don't think so. I think it's like that. Oh, yeah, there was Grace. Boom. All the books got. Oh, clever. Do, 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 do. So you're still over here. We'll fast travel over. Yeah, you can have two companions, but we'll front like and yeah, for so for a little bit we're gonna have um we're gonna have Max with us, but he's quickly gonna get replaced. We could have had him running around with us here if we finished his companion quest sooner. Any luck? Fuck. Um Yep. Nope. Part one. I got more for you. Part two. That's oh. Uh, I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Uh, just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Uh, Adelaide tells me she's moving back to Edgewater. Adelaide said that? Was she sober at the time? I never imagined she'd step foot in Edgewater long as Reed ran the town. Something must have changed in Edgewater. Yeah, Reed's gone, man. Adelaide's good as family. If she's going back, so are we. <laughs> she drinks her, like, psychedelic mushroom tea. Uh, Grace. Never liked Reed much. Can't say I'm sorry he's gone. Oh, okay. I guess that's that. Um, so, illustrated manual. What happened to Reed? I convinced him to leave the town. Like, I'm shocked that I convinced him to leave the town because I didn't have that much uh, social skill. But yeah. Nice one. Mm -hmm. We gotta find Max the book. So you could have done this sooner and then have Max around as a companion, I think, for some of this and help you with some of the combat and whatnot. Oh yeah. I keep trying to do the Fallout thing. I run up to the landmines and then try to dismantle them. Yeah, that doesn't work. Easy. Got the journal. All right, prepare yourself for some winning dialogue when I bring this back to Max. So you can't disarm that. I mean, you can disarm it by shooting it. But that's about it. Hostiles nearby? I mean, there's hostiles. Look at the bottom of the power shaft. Uh, yeah, I met um, I met the dude there. We got a manual there as well. Okay, well the hostiles aren't actually that close, but I got fuck it. I'll just run to town. It's fine. We oh the falling damage. That's okay. We want to get the falling damage uh, flaw. Like it's pretty bad because it gives you a huge stat penalty, but only in like when you're standing on the edge or something. So it's pretty small. along with other people? No, no, it's single player game. Single player only. Mm -hmm. Oops, missed the door. Whee! I do love all the run faster perks. And the fact that there's no run meter. It's a fine new day in Edgewater. The cannery hums, street lights and faces that. Yeah, glow. acrophobia. There's basically I a flaw for like taking any, two any like to too much of any one kind of meta. damage. Too many blows to the head, all kinds of things. Um, it means the two of you are built to sort out the matter. Uh, the Zerdus are moving back, even Adelaide. I am somewhat taken aback by that. Given the heat between her and Mr. Thompson, what deal did you strike with her? Thompson is the poop. Dump. <laughs> Why is there not a screenshot key? In, each, in like the Epic Game Store, and Steam just hit F12. Here, the best you can do is like sort of take a, a print screen, or I guess I'll open up Snip. But then like Snip's also awkward because it doesn't save to like um, a unique file name. But there you go. I want a screenshot. That is so funny. Mm -hmm. 
All caps. Adelaide's greens are people! I... Uh, what? Miss McDevitt's been digging up the graveyard. She uses our dead to sweep me earth and... grow vegetables. And that works. The results are edible. I was under the impression nothing could be grown hereabouts. <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. I didn't check, I'm no vegetarian cannibal. Well, nobody over there is dead. I mean, aside from the ones she put in the ground, or that's what she says, if you can believe somebody who eats salad. <laughs> oh man. Oh, they're all pretty funny. All right, uh, Buff says three, we'll go for three. Can't, can't, if you can believe someone who eats salad. I'm gonna have that to drop that one in the center. unexpected. I wonder how she discovered that. Once the spark of life is fled, the mortal form is but unanimated matter, comprised of the same elements as the rest of the universe. We inter for the comfort of the living, not the benefit of the dead. Windows keep plus print screen will actually save it. I would it. judge Ms. McDevitt's actions mm, that's actually handy. beneficial Even to the greater monsters. good. So Adelaide plants don't taste good, but they're good for you? Distasteful. Ah, distasteful. Ah. Close enough. I'm sure you have many issues taxing your limited resources. You can safely place this one out of mind. I got your book. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Wait for it. Well worth all the sacrifices. Wait I... for it. Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. <laughs> I was so uh, I don't really care for Bicker Max that much, but that line to the is gold. about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. <sighs> That's so important about this book. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking <laughs> the secrets of the universal <laughs> equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Uh... At least you still have your mission work here to give your life a meaningful purpose. Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing... I wonder what the dialogue in the French version, right? Probably wretches. German. Nothing could be more like, excruciating than discussing the truth of reality with people who have no interest beyond what is French the next German? I mean, the country's program. out of mind. But that's neither but the German there. language. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I don't know. I first need to secure transport. Just Allemand? Okay. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Yep. If I know anything about ragtag sci-fi bands of people on a ship is we need a shepherd or a vicar that'll be fine. We need that. We need a we need a, a goofy pilot. We need ourselves a space hooker. We you know there's there's certain things you absolutely need. Um could be beneficial arrangement. You need a ride out of town, wouldn't mind a ship hand. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can oh, offer you Anyone who hasn't watched the last season of Archer, Archer 1999, super need to watch I'm it. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick or any blunt instrument really. <clears throat> I'm also a passable Don't gun Rex. if it comes yes. to that. I can usually talk my way The only reason you need a shepherd is to walk up and say shepherd. That's true. Whether you have shepherd oh, book I'm or just shepherd, at hacking you need a shepherd. As well. um, yeah, sounds good. Let's go. He's Fantastic. got an interesting backstory. I but... promise you won't regret this. <clears throat> the shepherd Edward even has a book. You. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. <laughs> Lord is rather vague on the subject of kneecaps. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. It is my esteemed pleasure to serve as your crew I didn't vicar. care as much about the, um, the two the two previous seasons, the like Dreamland and the one on like the island, the sort of Indiana Jones-ish things. They were okay, but meh. But the, the space one, yeah, I'm all over. So we leveled up again. There you go. So that's as high as we can go in the tech category. We could then spend points on individual skills over here, but I don't think that's the plan. Um... I mean, we might at some point, but no. We'll just bring it up to 50 because it's very cost efficient. It'll help for certain dialogue things. I think, speaking of dialogue, I think we're just going to start pumping dialogue now. Again, we might stop at 50. We might decide to specialize in Intimidate, but we're going to do this because 
I hate it when I can't like pick a button in a dialogue tree. I need all the buttons available. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then Vicar Max over here, he's got a skill point to spend. So he can give us plus 10 to hacking skill when he's with us, which isn't bad, although he's probably not gonna be with us very long. Literally the only quest we have now, Stranger in a Strange Land, is to return to our ship. So that's what we're gonna do. Way out over here. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. She's so excited. She's <laughs> gonna be babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. She is so precious, Captain I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back- but They have a new mechanic now. Sinking feeling. Uh. Didn't seem happy in Edgewater, never been mentioned. Those people in Edgewater need you. Yeah, no, we're keeping her with us. We're not saying anything to make her feel like she has to go back to Edgewater. You didn't seem happy there. I mean, come on, girl. Oh, well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? Yes, please. I could tend to your engine. And to I our don't hearts. I energy valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Yes, please. <laughs> Why would you want to go to space as a stranger? Stranger danger. I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin, it's yours. Yes. I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! Ha! I got a captain. I got a captain. <laughs> I like. Ha! I got a captain. Oh my God, she's so, uh, so good. She's the best. I can never find the G five on my own. <laughs> Righty. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Now, see, here's something interesting. I wonder how she's going to react to everything we've done. Because here's the thing. Ada, while totally not really truly having emotions, is pretty, in my other playthrough, pretty goddamn pissed at Edgewater for basically, she feels, being responsible for letting her previous captain die. There's a certain amount of salt there. And there's a lot of snarky, salty comments about being happy that Edgewater, Edgewater is without power and is going to die and all those things. So I, don't, I wonder if there's going to be commentary to that extent here. What can I do for you, Captain? I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? I can smash it into place. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Oh, uh, there's not a dumb option. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove Snark invaluable in, this game. in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I'll be back. I have to do a grand tour of the ship. We didn't earlier because most of the doors are locked until you become officially captain. Yeah, now we humming. I'm gonna sit here and get some nice healthy radiation. Oh, these guys are still in follow mode. They're still like set as companions. What can I do for you, Captain? I've installed the power regulator. All systems are operating with an acceptable. Yeah, I don't get jealous. They just open airlocks. I'm prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. All right, let's get out of here. Bom, 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 bom. I don't know what these little like paddles, these little wing things, like what are they for? I mean, maybe just a little bit of stabilization in the atmosphere. But they don't seem all that useful. Against all odds, the unreliable takes I flight. A communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Space paddles, space orders. Uh, yeah, I've been waiting to hear from him. 
Ah, there you are. Hail and hearty. I told you before, my name's not Hail. It's Captain Hawk. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by I the way? Ada I lost like track watching. of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Uh, I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. Phineas Wells, what kind of name is it? Dr. What Wells. What you saw in Emerald Vale He's is Harrison Wells. all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. Yeah, some of the brightest minds, like me. They can help us like set me. things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Uh, why do we need a nav key to land on the planet? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Does sound great, actually. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys called Kelly. Mine is so bright, it's overflowed and negative. Nice. Uh, yeah, 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 I'll have a word for Gladys. That's fine. Excellent. I'll send her Again, a Again, when you play this, like, go coming. through all the dialogue trees. There's so much stuff. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. <laughs> you want me to wear a cape? Wrong matter of shroud, my slow-witted accomplice. This is a uh, how probably reference both Phineas Fogg and H. U. Wells. Yeah, that makes you look different, sound different. Phineas Fogg Briefly. from eighty around the world in eighty days, right? The device has its limits, but it will. His middle allow name is Vernon, as a nod to Jules Verne, nice. and probably won't jeopardize your ability to have children. Will it? No, definitely not. Probably yes. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Yep, I'll put it to good use. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you it's have basically any like another stealth mechanic. Come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. I don't know. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Yeah, let's go to the captain's quarters first. Uh, which are upstairs. So that's, yeah, the engine room. Check that out in a second. Or not the engine, like sort of engineering bay. It's my captain's quarters. Adelaide's deserters dreamed of an independent life without board oversight. You taught them important lessons. Never dream. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, that's good. So you get these like little trophies as like you accomplish various things. Your room will fill up with it. Holy Christ, that's amazing. There's a holographic shroud. Let me check our email as well. Unread messages from people. Blah, blah, blah. We'll, we'll leave that for here. I don't think any of these trigger any kind of quests. Yeah, we'll be meeting that Bedford guy. Sent messages. Da, 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 da. Logs. Oh, yeah. Shrink Ray. Hammer power. Black market leads. I think, yeah. Start I so a enjoy watching you sleep for hours on end, Captain. It's quite entertaining the way you drool and whimper. I whimper in my sleep. Thinking of tinkering at the workbench? I used to love watching Alex work. Now I like watching you. Starting to feel a little creepy there. Yeah, so this is my hidey spot now. 
I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here We'll I check am. the other upstairs, Buff. Don't worry Cozy about it. Cozy like, ain't it? <laughs> I think it's time for you to move along. I like I need this like option to be permanently disabled. So I don't accidentally click it. That's in pretty good shape considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA120, A2 model, I'm pretty sure. The Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space, scooshed. but then changed the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's board certified mechanic. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the ship's computer voice thingy. Oh, neat! I've never seen a talkie system before. 